Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now for today's video I'm going to be doing, uh, I'm going to be returning to the tier list type of videos with, by giving you all um, my predictions on what I think could uh, happen next in terms of the Doctor Who missing episodes animation. So which ones I think are like the most likely to come next and which ones I think might be best being saved for last. Now obviously at the moment we're not too sure what the next one could be. Uh, there have been some rumours that uh, to do with like the smugglers um, and stuff like that but there's been nothing I think said about any kind of uh, about what the next animation will be for quite a while now. Like the Celestial Toy Make animation came out in, I think it was April, May of this year, and we're now in December, obviously, so it's quite a while. Um, so, yeah, with my look, I, you know, when I come to like just before I released this video, they might have announced it, um, but let's hope not, and um, yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll kind of start things off with, um, so like the pattern that I think the animations tended to follow was at least two a year. Now, with the way things have gone lately since um, The Abominable Snowman came out in 2022 anyway, um, it's tended to be more like one a year. Um, but to start things off with, just to make things a bit easier, I might just do... Um, might just do it as if, you know, we returned to the two animations a year formula and then um, I might come back to, like, kind of um, do an, another kind of prediction based around the idea that we stick with the one animation a year uh, formula instead. So yeah, as per usual with all these tier making tier list making uh, videos, I don't have a script as such as you can probably already tell. Um, but yeah, I will. I have a few things I want to say anyway. So yeah, let's uh, hope that this isn't too much of a sort of rambly mess of a video. Um, so anyway, so with that ramble out of the way, with let's get on with what I think is probably the most likely ones to come out next. So, um, for 2025, next year, I'm going to put the wheel in space and uh, for the next Troughton uh, animation. Um, and then I think I'm going to put the smugglers for the next Hartnell animation. Now, I've put these two because, well... In terms of the Troughton ones, like the remaining Patrick Troughton stories that need to be animated, the Wheel in Space probably makes the most sense to come next because it's like the... well, it's a Cyberman story, so obviously there's that aspect of, like, it's probably one of the few left on this list that, um, you know, features a iconic famous monster or villain um so you know if they were to follow it follow if they were to do this one next uh, if this was indeed the very next one which it could be um then yeah i think it would make a lot of sense to go with this one in terms of which Troughton story to do next because like the highlanders is going to be quite a difficult one for them to do i believe i believe there'd be some concerns over how much tartan and stuff like that is needed for the highlanders and doing it uh with the 2d animation um formats anyway it might be very difficult so that might be more kind of maybe a well we'll get back to the highlanders eventually but yeah i think and then the space pirates obviously in terms of animation, it is fairly kind of, you know, not too bad to do, but it's got a few issues with the audio quality and stuff. Um, so, yeah, I think the Wheel in Space, probably best bet for which Patrick Troughton story will get animated next. And then I've gone for The Smugglers for the next William Hartnell story that I think will be animated, just purely based around those rumours I mentioned earlier saying going back to, I think, last year, um, at least, um, saying that The Smugglers would be the next animation. 
Um, and yeah, I could I could see this one, you know, being pretty uh, likely to happen in not too distant future. Um, it it's obviously only got four episodes, um, and I don't think there's too many kind of characters or sets that they need to kind of recreate for this one. I think there's just a few extras. Uh, there's quite a few extras in I think episode four with um i think it with, with pike's gang of smugglers um there's quite a few extras in that but you know i think that's just for like what like a scene or two it's not really you know that difficult um compared to some of the other ones that we'll get to anyway so i feel like the smugglers is a pretty safe bet so yeah if if fins were to go back to being two animations a year i would say for next year, for 2025, The Wheel in Space and The Smugglers, as I think those are the two most likely to come next. Because, um, yeah, I can't imagine either of them being too difficult for them to do, really. Then we come to 2026. Um, so, hmm. I think for this one, I'm going to go with... Um, so for Hartnell, I'm going to go with the Savagers. For Troughton, now this is an interesting one because the Highlanders, as I said, is difficult to do with 2D animation. Uh, that's already been said, I think, by people over the years and by people involved in the making of those animations. Um, but it could be doable with the more 3D nature that um, Shapeshifter Studios has been going with, with... The Web of Fear and the Celestial Toy Maker. So, if they're involved with another animation again, which I would assume they would be, then um, the Highlanders could very well be the next one that they tackle. So, I suppose then it's more about kind of like weighing which one will make more sense for them to go next in terms of Trout and Light. Would the Space Pirates make more sense than the Highlanders, or vice versa? Like, um, I'm gonna say, um, I think I'm gonna go with the Highlanders just because of that thing that I just said about Shapeshifter Studios and how it might be more doable with 3D animation. But to be honest with you, you could very easily swap it out with the Space Pirates, um, because the Space Pirates would be a lot more doable on the 2D animation format um, is really just some issues in terms of like fixing or well, trying their best anyway to fix the audio quality of the sound recordings um, but yeah beyond that with the animation itself Space Pirates it's not that difficult to do um, but yeah I'll say just for time being, I'll say the smug the not smugglers, the savages rather, and the Highlanders for 2026. The Savages, I think, just like the Smugglers, is fairly easy one, it's a fairly easy Hartnell story for them to do. Um again, it's only got four episodes. Doesn't have a massive amount of characters or sets or anything like that. Um I don't think there's even too many like extras or anything like that. So yeah, I think that's a fairly safe one for them to go with um i know like obviously it's not it's probably not gonna come anywhere close in terms of like which ones us fans would like to see get animated the most but you know um savages is like a fine story um the Highlanders, as I say, Shapeshifter Studios with all 3D aspects, if they can do that and make it work, then by all means, I think that could, that could work very nicely. Um, yeah, I quite like the Highlanders in terms of like Patrick Troughton still being in that um, mad phase where he's still trying to figure out, you know, what his portrayal of the second Doctor is going to be like. He's still going a bit over the top with the comedy and stuff like that um but it, it makes for some quite funny moments in the highlanders actually um so yeah i wouldn't be averse to seeing well any of these stories get the animation treatment like it doesn't matter for me whether it's a story that 
I love or hate or just not bothered about like for me it's much more just about just getting more animations and just having like a much more kind of having instead of just static images as the only visual representation of these stories it'd be nice to have animations as well um, I know the animations can be a bit controversial because especially nowadays because they tend to be a lot less um, they tend to be a lot less faithful to the original productions and you know some fans such as myself don't mind that but I understand why other fans really do mind it um, by yeah I think originally the kind of what seems like the, the original intention of these animations was that they were supposed to be fairly authentic to the original productions but They've decided to go in a slightly different way, and I think that's fair enough, you know, as long as we still have, um, as long as the BBC still makes those official reconstructions that they include on the DVDs and Blu-rays of these animations, then, you know, I think everyone will be happy and we get to pick and choose what approach we think works best, basically. Um, so yeah, that's 2026 covered. So then for the next year 2027 will be the space pirates um i've literally already talked about this it's just that yeah the animation itself i think would be fine um might be like a little bit demanding in some places like a little bit tricky to do in some places but overall i can't imagine it being too difficult um just sound quality of the sound recordings that will need to be kind of looked at and maybe kind of tweaked a bit um we'll just kind of have to see really um and then for the next hartnell story i'm gonna put um yeah i'm gonna put the myth makers i think i'll put the myth makers first yeah there you go i'm gonna put the myth makers before the space pirates because um i kind of like the idea of like oh hold on actually let me just move around 2026's selections right so i like the idea of going from a troughton to a hartnell to a troughton again to a hartnell again that kind of thing obviously like there's only three troughton stories left to animate um so you can only do that for so long but for the next three years anyway i kind of like the idea of just going of going in that direction um and going in that order basically um the myth makers is uh, I think it's slightly trickier to do than um, the previous two Hartnells that I've put on this list, the Savages and the Smugglers, but it's still not the hardest one to do. Like there's, I think there are maybe a few more characters, maybe a few more sets and extras and all this lot that would need to be animated and yeah, stuff like that. But I could see this still being like you know uh, coming out not in a not too distant future anyway it might take a bit more work than the other two Hartnells but yeah I think it's plausible anyway um so then we come to 2028 now obviously we've done all the Patrick Troutons so now it is solely just William Hartnell stories got left to cover um so I'm going to say, um, I think what is most likely to happen then is the Crusade, because I think, well, I know they tend to animate the surviving episodes, if there are any surviving episodes of a story, I know they tend to animate them as well as the Lost Ones, but I feel like the fact that this has got two surviving episodes and then the other two are missing and the fact that yeah i think that's kind of got something going for the crusades um but yeah i mean to be honest with you you could easily swap this and um, swap the crusades and my next pick the massacre just swap those two around and either way like i think both are potentially possible i think the only thing is is like obviously both don't have many episodes to do so in terms of the episodes front they're fine 
but in terms of like characters sets or backgrounds extras all of them lot i think they do have quite a lot actually um i think there's quite a decent amount in the massacre um quite a decent amount of crusade as well so yeah if they can do both in the same year then you know that'd be great obviously there's like well there's shapeshifter studios that recently did the celestial toy maker then there was the bbc studios um team that did the underwater menace last year uh, that was the most recent one that they did um so if those two teams continue to be involved in the animations then you know that might be possible you know so one team for example one team tackles the crusade while the other tackles the massacre or vice versa you know however you want to order it um but yeah we're kind of getting to that point now where fins are kind of a bit more challenging and a bit trickier for them to do so yeah that's why i've kind of put them both there as being kind of doable but less doable than the previous six that i've already put on this list um so yeah they'll need a bit more extra time and effort and work being put into them basically um so yeah then we come to basically the final two really um because i think i mean let's be honest when it comes to Mission to the Unknown, I have a feeling that they'll probably animate it alongside the Daleks Master Plan because Mission to the Unknown is basically a, a single, a, a, like a single part um, prequel to the Daleks Master Plan anyway. So it makes sense to just include it alongside with Master Plan. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Marco Polo for 2029. Um, yeah, I think, like, Marco Polo is a real beast of a story for them to do. You might have to have both animation teams working together on this one. Um, but it's nowhere near of a massive beast or giant, um, mammoth task, uh, for them to do as the Daleks' master plan will be. So that's why I'm putting Marco Polo first for 2029. Seven episodes... Ugh. It will be a lot. It will be a lot for them to do. Um, but assuming that the animations are still going, um, then, yeah, I think eventually we will get to a stage where we have Marco Polo and Master Plan animated. Um, so, yeah, I think it makes sense to go with Marco Polo because Marco Polo has seven episodes to do, whereas Dalek's Master Plan has nine episodes that they need to animate um but they probably animate all 12 and obviously you've got mission to the unknown included included uh, as well so that makes 13 episodes that they'd have to do in all together so yeah i think seven is more doable than 13 um there's still a lot of characters and backgrounds and extras and sets and everything that will needs to be done for marco polo so yeah this is gonna be like I'd be really surprised. I mean, you know, I, I would welcome this or Master Plan coming up a lot sooner than this, but I'd be very surprised if if they weren't, if those two stories weren't saved uh, until the very, very end because of just how much work will need to go into them. Um, and, you know, this is like best case scenario. Like, it could be that Marco Polo takes so long for them to animate that it doesn't even come out in 2029. It comes out in... 2032 or 2035 you know could take them a really long time to do um so yeah but i've put it in 2029 for now and then we come lastly to basically the double of the daleks master plan a mission to the unknown as i say i think it makes sense to just group them both together because they're basically tied together anyway as stories um yeah it's Basically, literally just what I said, like, I think having Marco Polo come before Master Plan, uh, Master Plan makes more sense than the other way around. But you never know. It could be that it could be that Master Plan and Mission to the Unknown gets done first before Marco Polo. You just don't know, really, at this stage. Um, but, yeah, I think 13 episodes 
is I mean it's going to be asking a lot for the animators again you're probably going to need both teams working on this together um, who knows kind of what that will be like in terms of like uh, like what animation approach do I even take with this like with this and Marco Polo like will they stick with 2D or will they try to mix it together with 3D aspects a bit more or just go on full on 3D it, it really depends on what is kind of more doable from their side of things and from a cost um, side of things as well um, but yeah I think that is the most likely run of animation so those are my kind of predictions of which missing episodes i think are going to get animated like which ones i think are going to be the very next ones so for next year i've got the wheel in space and the smugglers for the year after that i've got the highlanders and the savages for 2027 i've got um the myth makers and the space pirates 2028 is the Crusade and the Massacre, or the Massacre of St. Bartholomew's Eve, if you want to use the full title. 2029 is just Marco Polo, and then 2030 is uh, the Daleks Master Plan and Mission to the Unknown, probably included in like some special bumper uh, release or something that's like three or four discs or something like that um, on DVD or uh, and or Blu-ray. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of like my predictions for if there were, um, if we went back to the pattern of two animations a year, but I'm now going to show you all what my prediction would be if we stuck to the current pattern of just one animation a year. So just give me a second to rearrange everything. Okay, so this is now going to be a lot quicker because we've kind of already mainly talked about um, in the previous bit kind of why I chose things in the way I did. So now we're going to um, explore the idea that they decide to continue the current um, kind of formula of having just one animation a year. Um, now I don't necessarily think this has been deliberate in the past couple of years, I think it's just been due to circumstances, but let's say um, they did decide to stick with this, then here is how um, I think it would go. So, um, you'll need to... here we go. So, 2025 is just now the wheel in space. 2026 is now the smugglers, if I can just scroll up. There we go. 2027 is now the Highlanders, I think was the next Trouton story I put. And then 2028 will now be the Savages. 2029 will now be the Space Pirates. 2030 will be the Myth Makers. 2031 I'd put the Crusade, 2032, uh, the Massacre, Massacre of St. Bartholomew's Eve, 23, 2033, sorry, um, I'd put Marco Polo, and then 2034 would still be the combined um, animations of the Daleks Master Plan along with Mission to the Unknown. So that is if um, they decided to continue with the current uh, way of doing things in terms of just having the one animation a year. Now I don't necessarily think this is very likely to happen, but uh, if it does, then here is then that's how I could kind of imagine it going basically. Um, so yeah, this is quite interesting to do actually. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Please don't forget to press that subscribe button below as well as press the bell icon at the side of it so that you'll stay notified of when all my new videos come out. I'm probably going to do a similar video um, sometime soon all on what I think, which, seas, which classic series seasons I think will get the collection treatment uh, 
next. So um, if you want to see what my thoughts on that are, then please, you know, just please subscribe and click that notification bell so that when I do eventually get around to doing that video, you will be one of the first to uh, see it, I suppose. Um, and yeah, please comment below kind of what your thoughts on this are. Do you agree with, m with my predictions or do you have uh, very different predictions in terms of which missing episodes or missing stories will get animated next? So until next time, bye bye.